Alex is our Senior Director of Algorithms, Performance, and Tools at D-Wave. It's his team that is responsible for this new solver. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we're able to do here. Awesome. Thanks, Alan. Hey, everyone. Um, so I'm really excited to be here today to show you a demo of our newest solver, our hybrid nonlinear program solver available in Leap, as Alan just mentioned, as part of the portfolio of hybrid solvers that we have available in Leap. So if we could go ahead and put the demo up. Thank you. Um, so we wanted to show you a demo live of our solver. And because we're here in Boston, we thought it would be really fun to show you a Boston-themed demo. So specifically, uh, I think most folks here will be familiar with the story of Paul Revere. Uh, but if you're not, uh, in 1775, Paul Revere, William Dawes, and Samuel Prescott were dispatched to warn that the British were coming. Um, in this demo, we're going to have them all leave from uh, Paul Revere's house here in Boston and visit several of the different locations that Paul Revere went to uh, before he was captured. We often forget that part of the story. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and kick off a run of the solver. The thing that we're going to try to do here, as I mentioned, is optimize the travel distance, the total travel distance traveled by these three different folks. This is actually an example of a problem called open, uh, open vehicle routing. I always want to call it open shop, open vehicle routing problem. Um, the reason it's open vehicle routing is because unlike a lot of capacity vehicle routing or multi-vehicle routing problems, there isn't that sort of return back to the start. So you can see uh, we were able to successfully route uh, Paul Revere, uh, 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 William Dawes, and Sam Prescott uh, on, on their route. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I could have done this in my head. You could, and they did. Um, so I thought it would be fun to, what we thought we would do is, let's bring this into the modern era. So uh, before we were doing. See, that's, that's a cute touch, 70, 1776 to 2024. Yeah, 2024, yeah, that's right. Um, so in this case, we wanted to stick with our theme of a sort of disaster response scenario. Uh, but in this case, rather than dispatching three riders to warn that the British is coming, we wanted to imagine something like a hurricane has, uh, is approaching Boston and an evacuation order has been given. But you might imagine, uh, and because this unfortunately does happen, that sometimes when this happens, some folks are not able to self-evacuate for one reason or another. Uh, you know, maybe they don't have a vehicle, maybe they uh, have mobility uh, issues that they're not able to uh, easily self-evacuate, and they're looking to, to be helped. So in this case, uh, we want to dispatch a set of buses. I'll go ahead and kick off the optimization. Oops, uh, on classical, I guess, this time, um, to, uh, to pick up these different folks as efficiently and easily as possible. So in this case, again, I'm going to be giving it this sort of five-second time limit. Uh, but I want us to talk a little bit about the formulation for this problem. So in this case, I'm solving it classically. I'm solving it on a solver called HIES. The reason that we picked HIES is because HIES is the best solver that we had available, best classical solver that we had available to this demo. Um, but what you'll see is that actually, even for this relatively small problem and these two buses, it wasn't actually able to solve the problem at all. I can try to come back. Let's see if we can uh, make this even a little bit easier and see if we can, we can scale that down. We'll do one more. Um, the reason that Heise is really struggling on this problem is because it can't do this sort of nonlinear solving that our new solver can. So specifically, when you try to map this problem to a, uh, a, a linear formulation, the kind that Heise uses, you need to use n squared variables in order to uh, solve the problem. So these 20 locations turn into 400 locations, which vastly create, you know, improve, uh, increases the difficulty of the problem. There we go. We were able to solve it now by going down to 20. So let's go ahead and contrast that to our NL solver. So our NL solver uh, doesn't have that restriction. You don't need to use that n squared uh, uh, variable count that you need to with a linear solver. In fact, we can represent this 20 location problem with a single variable with 20, uh, 20 integers in it. A much, much more efficient representation and a much better representation for solving this sort of problem, which ends up helping quite a bit in terms of our solution. So here's the solution found by the NL solver in the same amount of time. Um, and we, we compare them, we actually, oh, okay, we got about the same result, but remember I had to come down. 
So the, so the smaller yes. problem classically got the same result yes. as the larger problem. When we went down to 20, we were able to, classical was able to solve, and we were able to get across, approximately the same result in a five second time horizon. This is a relatively easy problem. So let's make it difficult. Um, rather than doing uh, two buses and 20 locations, I'm gonna do about 90 locations and four buses. So now we're really starting to crank up the difficulty here. This is well beyond what the classical solver is able to do. Um, and specifically, we're doing a uh, pretty good chunk of sort of Northwest Boston here. This is now a very, very difficult problem, well beyond what I can uh, do in my head. And this is really, truly where that n squared problem kills the, n, the, uh, the linear solvers. You know, now we're talking uh, 10,000 variables in order to represent this problem, rather than the 100 that we're able to do with the NL solver still with that five second time limit. So uh, I should mention, and I probably should have mentioned off the top, that again, all of this is available right now in Leap. Alan mentioned this. It's available as of this morning. Here's the solution found by the NL solver within this time. It passes the eye test, uh, you know, even within this five second time horizon. Um, note that it has to, uh, it has a capacity, which is why you sometimes see the, the bus do slightly odd uh, routes. So I would really encourage anybody who's interested to try out this solver to do so. Uh, the latest Ocean was released, uh, and the new solver is available today. Day, and I'll be giving another talk a little bit later today, giving a next level of detail. Thank you. Everyone. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex.